A Hobart researcher has developed a breakthrough treatment for osteoarthritis, one form of the disease that affects one in five Australians. But there's concern a decline in research funding could prevent a wider trial of the treatment. 67-year-old Judith Lockley can now walk down the street. A year ago that would have been impossible because of severe osteoarthritis in her right foot. I had an operation um, because I had a fall. Um, then after that it got progressively worse. When surgeons were considering amputation she sought different treatment. Professor Graham Jones of the Menzies Research Institute has spent the past 10 years searching for new ways to treat osteoarthritis, which has no cure. So then Graham gave me the um, drip. He'd been running clinical trials on a number of medications. One, an acid pump directly into the bloodstream via an intravenous drip. And after four weeks, I think, I came back and I could tell the difference in my foot. Um, the swelling wasn't as bad, um, I could get shoes on, whereas before I couldn't. Professor Jones says the treatment, used for osteoporosis, drastically reduced pain and slowed down the disease in arthritis patients. So a lot of our treatments have been symptom relieving treatments, but here we've got a treatment that may actually change the course of the illness. But he's concerned about a decline in research funding. Since it became a national health priority, the percentage share of government funding going to arthritis research has continued to fall. At the moment the funding is at competitive grants, uh, there are corporate and phil philanthropic uh, funding available as well, but not enough. Professor Jones won't know until October whether the federal government approves a larger trial of the osteoarthritis treatment. Claire Todd, ABC News.